Welcome back to Power in Politics. We just heard from George Santos, who plans to primary Nick LaLota in the 1st Congressional District. There will be a Democratic primary in that district as well. But not everyone can vote. New York has closed primaries, meaning those primaries are only open to members of those political parties. So if you're a registered Republican, you can vote in the GOP primary. If you're a registered Democrat, you can vote in the Democratic primary. But that's it. Independent voters are shut out of the primary process. And some say that shouldn't be. The nonprofit group Open Primary says New York's current system is undemocratic. Jeremy Gruber, the organization's senior vice president, writes, quote, today more voters are independents than are registered as Republicans or Democrats. Closed primaries may be taxpayer funded, but more than half of the voting public is shut out of the most meaningful round of elections. And the group argues that partisan primaries have helped to lead to the hyper-partisan environment we live in today. And joining us right now is the Open Primary Senior Vice President, Jeremy Gruber. Good to have you here. Thanks, Thanks for coming for in. Me. All right, so you laid it all out. This is not every state, but it is certainly the case here in New York. Why is it a bad thing for Republicans to vote for the Republican, Democrats to vote for the Democrat? Well, there's over 3 million independent voters in the state of New York, over 600,000 just here on Long Island. We are the second largest group of voters in the entire state, and we're shut out of the primary elections. These are taxpayer-funded elections. When you go into vote in the primary, you're going into a public building. You're working with publicly paid election workers, publicly operated machines. The whole thing is administered by the Secretary of State and our state government, but we can't vote in elections we pay for. It's just not right. Uh, and these are the most meaningful elections in the state of New York, by far, by far. Over 60% of races for state legislature, for example, in this last uh, election round, over 60% were uncontested. Uncontested, that means one out of every uh, uh, six out of every 10 voters, when they went to vote, there's only one person on the ballot. Less than 10% were competitive. These are the meaningful elections, and more and more New York voters are being shut out of them. And even in districts where it can be competitive, because of the primaries, you've got candidates running to the right or running to the left. And then when you get to the general, you are left now with those candidates who may be either at the extremes or working their way back to the middle, and you're wondering, well, where do they really stand? Well, that's exactly right. When you have an uncompetitive general election, the primary is the only election that matters for most candidates. So in order to be elected and stay in office, they have to pander to the most partisan of the voters that can participate in those closed party primaries. And that means they are going to be less and less connected to their constituents more broadly. And they're going to be professing views that really are far and far outside of the mainstream. And I'm quite frankly surprised we don't have more New York candidates that are like that. A couple of weeks ago, I was in Washington, D.C. with Congressman Tom Suozzi. We interviewed him after he was sworn in. And one of the issues he really says he wants to tackle is the hyperpartisanship in Congress. But he says that primaries are part of the problem. Take a listen to what Congressman Suozzi said. Most Democrats and Republicans really do want to work together and get things done. But too many people are letting ourselves be bullied by the base on both sides. There's a sense that if you don't just take the, the orthodoxy of their party uh, or, you know, follow the leaders of your party uh, and you try to work across party lines, you're going to get punished for that uh, on social media, at a primary, from your donors. Uh, and, but it's not working. All right. So how do you fix it, Jeremy? Because the parties don't want to give up what they have right now in New York State, right? Well, that's exactly right. And that's one of the reasons why... Uh, we here at Open Primaries have launched a brand new campaign, Let Us Vote. We are working to organize and empower independent voters to work collectively, to push our elected leaders and to push the parties to enfranchise all of us. And that is the only way we're going to get any movement on this issue. It's great that we see candidates that it will occasionally say things to independent voters, but that only happens a couple of months before a general election, and then we're completely ignored. I haven't seen any candidate of any party, uh, or at least very few, that are building long-term relationships with independent voters where they are. That means giving us uh, uh, the right to vote in elections that we pay for, and, and more broadly, giving us, moving us from second-class status to in the mainstream with every other voter. You know. In New York, it's not just the primaries where we're second-class voters. I'm an independent voter in New York. 
by law, I can't be a poll worker. I can't be a poll watcher. I'm an attorney. I can't serve as an election judge. I can't be on an election board. I can't participate in any aspect of election administration in this state because I'm an independent voter. It's not right. And we need more and more independents to come together collectively. We need more and more elected officials to listen to us and to build long-term relationships to us because that's the only way we're gonna move forward. All right, let's go across the country. In California, they have an open primary. And for the Senate just now, Adam Schiff is going to be the Democratic candidate. But it could have been two Democrats. It could have been two Republicans, depending on the vote. But what happened is Schiff actually ran ads to help the Republican, Steve Garvey, because he didn't want to deal with another Democrat in the general election. How do you fix that? That's the flip side of it, I guess, is you have an open primary and you have these kind of things happening. Well, that's not actually a problem with open primaries. We have... We see Democrats and Republicans spending money to prop up candidates all the time in closed primaries. This is not an issue of open versus closed primaries. This is an issue of money in politics, an equally important issue that needs a lot of attention. Open primaries is about letting all voters vote. It's that that simple. California has a, a nonpartisan election. It's set up just like the general election. Everybody goes in, all the candidates are on the ballot, and the top vote getters move on to the general election. Why aren't our primaries like that? Why can't we vote for who we want in this country? Shouldn't that be the case in a democracy like America? All right, so we've got about a minute left. Let me ask you this. You're a New Yorker, you're watching this, you're saying, I like what this Gruber guy says. I think he's right. What can folks do about it? Well, they can go to openprimaries.org to hear more about how they can get involved in, in New York and around the country on the open primaries issue. And you can go to lettucevote.org uh, to learn more about how we can collectively come together as independent voters uh, in this country. We are the largest group of voters in America today, second largest group of voters in New York. We need to bring our power together to collectively and assert ourselves. All right, Jeremy Gruber, we appreciate it. It's a fascinating topic. We always hear the independents will decide it just not in primaries in New York. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, thank you. And still to come on Power and Politics, the fallout continues after the four suspects accused of hacking up and scattering human remains from free on Long Island. Critics say it's because of bail reform. We'll be right back.